So hey, you've probably heard of random acts of kindness, right? Well, get ready for some thoughtless acts of selfishness. Here are 8 tourist attractions humans have ruined forever. Mother Nature has gifted humans with magnificent waterfalls, powerful rivers, crystal blue bays, and spectacular rock formations. Unfortunately, time isn't kind to many of these striking natural wonders. But that's not the worst part. In some cases, none other than people themselves cause destruction to these precious places. Before you find out about 8 tourist attractions you can nowadays see only in pictures, hit subscribe and ring the notification bell to join us on the Bright Side of Life. Counting down from number 8, the underwater Amazon, Indonesia. It was March 2017 when a 4,729-ton British ship named Caledonian Sky crashed into a coral reef in the region of Raja Ampat, an island chain in the Papua province of Indonesia. This location, also called the Underwater Amazon, is considered to be one of the most striking coral reefs in the world. The ship was carrying hundreds of tourists who were enjoying a bird-watching trip. Strangely, at one moment, the ship somehow veered off course, got caught in low tide, and ran aground on the coral reef. Over 17,000 square feet of the reef has been damaged by the incident. But wait! To retreat the ship, they used a tugboat. This added to the damage that had already been caused by the reef. The head of the official evaluation team, Dr. Ricardo Tepilato, stated that it could take more than a decade for the reef to recover. Number 7. The Duckbill Rock Formation, Oregon, USA The Duckbill was a pedestal-shaped rock formation that stood proudly above the Pacific Ocean at Cape Kiwanda State Natural Area. This rock was popular both among professional photographers and amateurs for its shape that resembled a duck's head. The Duckbill Rock Formation was first documented in the 1900s. According to scientists, it had been around for thousands of years, and nature had worked hard to create such an unusual monument. Unfortunately, the authorities were unable to ward off the hordes of tourists swarming this place. People ignored warning signs, climbed over a fence, and hopped on the rock for the sake of having a cool picture. And finally, in 2016, the rock formation collapsed. But the reason for this tragedy wasn't the fragility of the formation or winds blowing from the ocean. No, it was a group of teenagers that destroyed this natural wonder in a matter of several seconds. This act of vandalism was recorded by a passerby. When he confronted the young people, they retorted that their friend had broken his leg on this rock. Therefore, in their opinion, the duckbill had to be taken down as a safety hazard. The worst part of this story is that the vandals managed to remain unidentified. They have never been caught. But even if they were brought to responsibility, according to Oregon state law, they would only have to pay a $435 fine. As they say, ignorance is temporary, but stupidity is forever. Do you think this is a shocking act of vandalism? Well, wait until you hear about the Goblins of Utah. Number 6. The Goblins of Utah, Utah, USA If you ever visit Goblin Valley State Park in Utah, you'll be thrilled to your very core. All over the place, you'll see gigantic mushroom-shaped rocks perched on much thinner sandstone formations. Erosion and other natural processes have been creating these unearthly constructions for over 170 million years. These wonder rocks seem to be a miracle to everyone, but two ex-Boy Scout leaders. The men cheered and laughed as they were destroying ancient rocks. The vandals were arrested and eventually charged with a third-degree felony. 
They, however, avoided jail time and served a year of probation. Besides, the duo had to pay several thousand dollars so that new warning signs could be set up in the park. How did the men explain their actions? Well, they claim that these million years old constructions were dangerous and thus had to be destroyed. Number 5. The Guaira Falls, Paraguay, Brazil The Guaira Falls were a number of huge waterfalls located on the Parana River. This river flows along the border of Paraguay and Brazil. These waterfalls were a sight to behold. Their height was about 375 feet, and the roar of the falling water could be heard from 20 miles away. No wonder that this location was a popular tourist attraction. I think I can anticipate your next question. What should cause such a massive waterfall to disappear? The answer is people. In 1982, the government of Brazil decided to construct a dam across the Parana River for hydroelectric purposes. Well, they did create the Itaipu Dam Reservoir, but meanwhile, forever destroyed the Guaira Falls. Number 4. The Chacaltaya Glacier, Bolivia If you get to a height of about 17,400 feet in the Andes in Bolivia, you'll see a breathtaking gigantic glacier. Or rather, you could have found it there 20 years ago. The Chacaltaya Glacier used to be a must-see for most tourists who came to Bolivia. On top of that, it was the closest to Equator Ski Resort, which also had the highest ski run in the world. The world's highest ski lodge was also situated there. It was located at a higher altitude than the base camp on Mount Everest. While skiing, you could enjoy amazing views of Lake Titicaca. However, if you visit this place nowadays, you'll see nothing more than mud and some lumps of ice. This is the result of climate changes, provoked by human activity. In just 20 years, from 1981 to 2001, 80% of the glacier disappeared. As for the rest, it was lost forever in 2009, which was much earlier than experts had predicted. Number 3. The Tenere Tree, the Sahara Desert, Niger The only tree for 250 square miles in Niger's Sahara Desert, the Tenere Tree used to be the most isolated tree on Earth. It was an important landmark that helped caravans and travelers to find their way in endless sands. In the 1930s, this tree was even marked on the maps of military campaigners. Scientists claimed that the only way the tree could survive was a massive system of roots. According to different estimates, these roots could reach from 40 to 100 feet underground. But in 1973, a man hit the tree with his truck and snapped the tree trunk in two. The man was driving along the road, which traced a century-old caravan route, and crashed into the only obstacle he could find for miles. Rumor has it that the driver was drunk. Nowadays, the dried trunk of the tree can be found in the Niger National Museum. And in the place where the tree used to stay, you'll only see a metal sculpture which has replaced the Tenere tree. Number 2. Maya Beach, Thailand There are few people who have never heard about Maya Beach in Thailand. This place became famous after the movie The Beach was released in 2000. Turquoise water, white sand, and untouched lush greenery distinguish the place from other popular tourist locations. Unfortunately, the fame of the beach has brought nothing but a disaster to this paradise. Since Leonardo DiCaprio swam in its waters in 2000, Maya Bay has become Thailand's most visited destination. The beach was visited by 200 boats and 5,000 tourists a day. You can probably imagine what damage this flow of people brought about to this place. The pollution caused by boats, trash, and even sun cream 
destroyed more than 80% of the coral reef that surrounds Maya Bay. Despite this fact, the authorities were unwilling to shut down the place since it brought in big revenue. However, on the 1st of June 2018, the bay was temporarily closed for four months. Naturally, this time wasn't enough for the bay to recover. That's why the closure was extended for at least one more year. Unfortunately, according to experts' estimates, the recovery of Maya Bay's ecosystem is likely to take many years. Number 1. Nazca Lines, Peru Situated 250 miles away from Lima, the geoglyphs of Nazca spread over a whopping 174 square miles. These huge pictures of stylized plants, living creatures, and geometric figures are one of the greatest mysteries of archaeology. The only way you can appreciate Nazca lines is from the air. But in this case, a question is how were they created? These numerous geoglyphs are very old. Most of them date back to 200 BCE to 500 CE. Sadly, neither the enigma nor the magnificence of the 2,000-year-old images stop vandals from ruining them. One of the reasons is the Pan American Highway that goes through the site. In February 2018, a man deliberately drove his truck across the site and damaged three straight-line geoglyphs. The worst thing is that it wasn't the first time drivers crossed into the protected area despite the signs that indicated the preserved status of the area. Surprisingly, another danger to the ancient geoglyphs came from Greenpeace activists. In 2014, during climate change talks in Lima, they left on the ground a giant message that said, Time for a change. The future is renewable. Greenpeace. Unfortunately, this inscription was located too close to one of the images. A hummingbird and the footprints of the activists, as well as the message itself, damaged the site. So what do you think? What in your opinion can be done to protect priceless masterpiece that were created by nature? Share your ideas in the comment section below. Remember to give us a thumbs up! Share this video with your friends and hit the subscribe button to join us on the Bright Side of Life.